For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God stepped down. God came down from off his throne. To become 100% man and to remain 100% God. He left his throne to be born in a manger when there was no room at the inn for him. There is no room at the birth of Jesus Christ. And yet, God has plenty of room for us if we were to put our faith in Jesus Christ. And God is long-suffering. He's not willing that any should perish. And the fact is, that he has not called his church away in the rapture. Because there are still people who can be saved by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. And when the church is gone or raptured, according to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and Revelation chapter 3 and 4, there is no means of salvation through the blood. And when the rapture does happen of the church, there will be a period of time called Jacob's trouble. The tribulation period. In which three and a half years have passed, it will be the great tribulation period. And if you think Nancy Pelosi's bad, wait till you deal with the Antichrist. When the Antichrist will go with all efforts to kill the Jewish people, who are God's people. To God said to Abraham, I will curse them that curse you, and I will bless them that bless you. And any blessings upon a nation or an individual or a group of people will be in reaction to what and how you treat the Jewish people. Now, if you are kind and considerate to the Jewish people, you will be blessed. If you hate the Jewish people, you will be cursed. Because Jesus, according to John chapter 1, he came unto his own. Jesus was born of the tribe of Judah. His mother was Jewish. And Jesus is Jewish. He's not colored and he's not white. Jesus is of the, the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God's people. Americans are not God's people. The Jewish people are God's people. And Jesus Christ is of the Jewish people. And I will tell you for the fact is that the KKK is not Christian because they hate the Jewish people. And anybody that hates the Jewish people cannot be of God. For they are of God. In order to be saved, the Bible says you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And Jesus Christ is Jewish. Of the promised seed. The United Nations hate the Jewish people. Adolf Hitler hated the Jewish people. No born
born again, Bible believing Christian will hate a Jew, he'll bless and try to help them. Because our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, is of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Notice I said Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I did not say Ishmael. The Arabians are of Abraham, but they are not the blessed people. They are not the chosen people by God. The Bible says about Ishmael, he'll be an enemy to all, and all will be an enemy to him. And our very salvation rests upon a Jewish Savior of the Jewish scriptures, of the Jewish prophecies by Jehovah, God, the Lord. Jesus Christ, born in Bethlehem, in the county of Judah, of the children of Benjamin. The place where Rachel died and was buried, Jacob's wife. Jesus walked about in Judea. Jesus went to Jerusalem all the feast days of the Jewish Bible and calendar. You don't find Christmas in the Jewish feast days. You find Passover, Feast of Ingathering, Pentecost, Day of Atonement, the Feast of Tabernacles. You will not find Jesus in pagan rituals. You will find him in the writings of Moses, the prophets, and the other writings, the poetry. You will find Jesus Christ in the 66 books of the Bible. All right. I want to welcome everybody here. To you the will find him in the prophecy of the prophets and of the people of God in the Old Testament. Come back. When Jesus came into Jerusalem upon the ass, that's in the prophets. When he be born of a woman of the virgin birth, it's in the prophets. When he would suffer and die by the hands of his own people, it's in the prophets. And many times in Jesus' ministry, he would say, have you not read? It is found written. And you will find the prophecy of the suffering Messiah in the pages of Isaiah 53. Now, Israel has that wrong. Israel, the Jewish people will say Isaiah 53 is them and the ones that persecuting them are the Gentiles. They do have it wrong. And they are allowed to get it wrong because they're human sinners such as I. And I don't get all the Bible correct. But Jesus, John chapter 1 the Bible says he is born unto his own, the Jewish people, and his own received them not. The fact is that we Gentiles are allowed to come in to the salvation. God says it for a stumbling block to Israel. I am going to teach Israel a lesson. I'm going to let the dead dogs, Gentiles, I'm going to let them believe in your Messiah and get saved by your Messiah and then they're going to preach to you your Messiah, Jesus Christ. And throughout the book of Acts, the Jews persecuted the Christians and God says you still bless them. They're my people. And I will deal with them in Jacob's trouble. But the church has not been raptured yet. And while the church is here, and when the rapture will happen, I don't know. There are a bunch of morons out there that say, oh, the rapture is going to happen on such and such date. They're morons. Because Jesus said, no man knoweth only the Father. But until the church is gone, 
And it can be this morning. It can be this afternoon. It may be tomorrow. It may be next week, next month, next year, next decade. But until the church rapture, salvation is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. And when you reject Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ will reject you. I don't care if you have religion. I don't care if you're good. I don't care anything about you. There's only one thing I want to know. And I want to know about Jesus in your life. I want to know what you have done or what you will do with Jesus. Because what you do with Jesus will declare what God will do with you. And John the prophet, John the Baptist said, He that hath the Son hath everlasting life. When you receive the Lord Jesus Christ, God will receive you. And John goes on to say, He that has not the Son, Jesus, shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. When you reject Jesus Christ, God will reject you. I don't care if you're good. I don't care you belong to a church. I don't care you were baptized. The Bible tells us to go in all the world and preach the gospel. And that gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. There is no other means of salvation but to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The scriptures does not say belong to a church. It doesn't say do good. Matter of fact, the scriptures say there is none that doeth good. No, not one. It doesn't say be baptized for salvation. It says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Those are the words of Jesus. Jesus who is God and God who is Jesus. It's plain and simple. Man and the devil will come up with ways and come up with things to get you into hell quicker. And yet Jesus is the way, Jesus is the truth, and Jesus is the life, and Jesus is the only access to God the Father. Listen, it was not a church that was nailed to the cross. It was God. And Acts 20:28 20, says it is the blood of God that purchased Christians. Now don't get mistaken to think, oh, I belong to a church, so I'm a Christian. No, you're not. A Christian is someone who has believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. Not of work. Not what you can do. Not what the church can do. But what Jesus has done. 
It is Jesus that suffered and died according to the scriptures. It was Jesus that was buried. And Jesus rose again the third day according to the scriptures. You will not get to heaven without Jesus. And it's so simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Believe, not doing, believe. And then after you receive the Lord Jesus Christ, then you find a Bible Baptist church and you grow in the Lord in that church. But the church won't save you. Baptism won't save you. Being good can't save you. <laughs> Only by the finished work of Jesus Christ are you able to be saved. And Jesus said you must be born again and you cannot be born again but by the Spirit and by the Spirit is through Jesus Christ. If you are able to save your soul then why was God manifest in the flesh? If you can save yourself. If you are able to get to heaven by what you do why would Jesus say, I am the way, the truth, and the life? And there is no access to God except by me, and that's Jesus. And if Jesus would have you to be saved, and Jesus would have the means of you being good, he would say, be good and go to heaven. That's nowhere in the scripture. <laughs> he, he would have said, go to church, you can get to God, and that's nowhere in the scripture. There is nowhere in the Bible to say, be baptized and thou shalt be saved. That's not in the Bible. In the Bible is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you are baptized, well, what denomination? Salt water, fresh water, tap water, bottled water. The baptism has many denominations as there are Baptist, Catholic, Church of God, and you name them. But there is one Jesus. There is one salvation. There is one God. And believe it or not, there's one Bible, the King James Bible. And that Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says that Jesus is the only means of salvation. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man can get to God outside of Jesus Christ. And the words of Jesus are, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It's a plain, simple message, as such as this guy saying plain, simple words over and over and over. And over here, the words over and over are, Jesus saves, Jesus saves, only Jesus saves. It's a perfect summer day, it's a perfect summer day, it's a perfect summer day, but Jesus saves. And only Jesus saves. Listen, religion is man-made, Jesus Christ is God-approved. And there is no other. Amen. Thank you. There is no other preservative that God has given to man except the preservative 
of the blood of Jesus Christ. And through the blood of Jesus Christ, these things have written on you that you may know you have eternal life. And that eternal life rests upon Jesus Christ. As much as this guy sings the same words over and over and over and over, I preach the same thing over and over and over. He sings the angels don't want him. The angels don't want him. The angels don't want him. Jesus says, come on to me and be saved. Come on to me and be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. That's how simple salvation is. God made salvation simple any child can believe. And God has written in the word that any child can read. It is so simple. Salvation rests upon what Jesus Christ has done and not what you can do. And if you can save your soul, then there would be no need of the man Christ Jesus. If your words could be judged proper and right before God, if your actions could save your soul, there would be no need for Calvary's cross. Jesus would not have ever been born in that manger if we could save our own selves. Now, Jesus was born in that manger. Jesus went to Calvary because we can't save ourselves. The very thing that we have Jesus Christ and we have the Bible is to prove you can't do it. Christians are commanded to go in the world and preach the gospel. And that gospel is what Jesus Christ done. He suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's what Jesus done. I'll tell you what you are. You're a sinner. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You know what your sin is going to get you? The wages of sin is death. Your sins will pay by your death. We will die because we are sinners. Behold the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. The only cleansing for our sin is the blood of God and the blood of God flow through Jesus Christ. And the blood of God was whipped out of Jesus. The blood of God came out of those nails the blood of God came out of the thorns in his head. And the blood of God came out when they pierced his side. And those scars in his side, those scars in his hands, and the scars in his feet are still there today, the Bible says. And them scars are there because we sin against God. He made him to be sin for us who knew no sin that we may be the righteousness of God through him, Jesus. We need to be righteous. And the Bible says that there are none righteous 
Well, how can you be something the Bible says you can't be and are not? Well, the righteousness of God is Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There is no salvation any other but Jesus Christ. There is nothing else God approved but Jesus. I'll tell you what Satan will approve of. Satan will approve of you getting in religion. Satan says, join a church. Satan says, give money to the church. Satan says, get in the water. Satan will not tell you. The devil will not tell you, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. The devil will say, give to charity. But the devil will not tell you, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. The devil will not tell you, you can't get to God without Jesus. The devil will have you to say, I'm good, preacher. You're not good enough. And your good is not my good, and our good is not the good of the Bible. Salvation rests upon the shed blood of God, Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. What can you add to that? You can add religion. That won't do it. You can add how good you are. That ain't going to do it. The great hymn is how great thou art, not how great I am or you are. Because you're not great. I'm a sinner saved by grace, and you may be a sinner going to hell. And you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. If you want to go to heaven, you will have to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. If you want to go to hell, join any church. Be baptized. I'll get you into hell, and you'll wish you had that water to cool your tongue. <laughs> Be good. Because hell is full of good people that has not believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. Hell is full of people that were in church that did not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Hell is full of priests, pastors, and rabbis who has not believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. I'll tell you who you will not find in hell. Those who have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not find a person redeemed by the Lamb of God in hell. You'll be surprised who you find going to hell at the Great White Zone Judgment. And then you'll be surprised to find out who's in heaven. The most worst person that's believed in the Lord Jesus Christ you'll find in heaven. And the greatest, nicest person who did not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ will be in hell. There are no Baptists in heaven. Those who are washed in the blood of Jesus are found in heaven. Heaven is for those that are redeemed by the blood of Jesus. For those that have repented of their sins. Those who are washed in the blood of the Lamb of God.
are those in heaven. Now I said, listen to me, get saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, then find a King James Bible believing church. Get in it and grow. But your church attendance is not going to save you. Your means of salvation is through Jesus Christ. You will be lost without Jesus. The Bible says you are already in condemnation because you have not trusted in the Son of God. God says, come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow through the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. If you want to go to heaven, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. If you want to go to hell, do whatever you want, contrary to the scriptures. Fulfill the law, and you'll go to hell. Be good, and you'll be in hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. And there is no access to God the Father without Jesus. You will not get to heaven without Jesus. You will not be surprised I'm in heaven without Jesus. You'll be surprised you're in hell being good. You'll be surprised in hell as a churchgoer. You'll be surprised in hell that you were baptized. You'll be surprised in hell you were a member of and fill in the blank. How you doing? You'll find your good self surprised to be in hell. And you will have assurance in heaven by the blood of Jesus Christ. You will be satisfied through the finished work of Jesus Christ alone. And you can't lose it. It's not yours to be lost. Once you are sealed by the Holy Spirit, by the finished work of Jesus, and the blood has been applied to your sin. Nobody will pluck you out of the Father's hand. But you must first believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Your salvation must be wrought through God, through Jesus alone. You cannot finish the work of God by what you can do. Jesus died on the cross saying, it is finished. You need not add anything to it. To be preserved by God is the finished work of Jesus. Religion is an artificial preservative that God will not receive. Works are a red dye number five and will kill you into hell. Salvation by Calvary's cross and that of Jesus. And the ingredients are the blood of God found in Acts 20, 28. God is satisfied with the finished work of Jesus alone. You do not thrill God 
by being good. You do not please God by who you are. You are a sinner. All have sinned. And the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Stop trying to please God. Jesus already pleased God. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. That's why there's the story of Jesus. That's why there's Calvary. To do what the man can't do. Salvation. Salvation is the finished work of the cross. A Christian is the empty tomb. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Salvation can only be wrought by Jesus and only by Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And them are the words of Jesus. They're not my words. And I'll get real far But she's still always right there by my side If the angels don't want you in heaven, God ain't going to want you there. The Bible says in Luke 15, the angels rejoice at one sinner that repents and believes on the Lord Jesus Christ. Or so our Baptist friend over here, if the angels don't want him, he's going to find himself, if he's not saved by the blood of Jesus, he's going to find him in hell, where the devil's angels will be happy. It's the devil's music. Over here is, is God's gospel that Jesus Christ wants you to believe on him. Jesus wants you in heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the, to the Father but by me. God is long-suffering. He's not willing that any should perish. But all will be saved. All to be saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. Being a Baptist can't save you. Being washed in the blood of Jesus is able to save your soul. I can say God wants me in heaven and the angels want me in heaven. Glory to God. Glory to God, my name is in the Lamb's book of life through Jesus' blood. Glory to God that God will say, well done. Glory to God, I will have fellowship with the angels in heaven because of Jesus. Not because I'm a Baptist. Not because I can't sing. But I can glorify God through the blood, through the cross, through the empty tomb. According to the scripture. Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. What a reunion that will be in glory. When all those that are washed in the blood will sing praises to God. Will sing praises to the Lord Jesus Christ. All are welcome if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is willing and able to save your soul. 
If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved, it's not by religion, it's not by being good. It is by what Jesus Christ has done. The Bible tells us to go in all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. Now that's salvation. That is the way. That is the truth. Jesus is the only access to the Father. God would have it no other way but through Jesus. God has told us the truth through Jesus. God has given us eternal life through Jesus. And you will stand in the presence of God through Jesus. And that's it. By Jesus Christ alone are you able to get to heaven. There is no mercy there is no grace without Jesus. And the angels in heaven are pleased with Jesus. And the angels don't like you. I for sure God won't like you. Baptist. That's a personal statement for somebody. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you want to go to heaven, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You want to go to hell? Do anything you want to do. Reject Jesus. And that's the quickest way to hell. You want to go to heaven? Put your faith and your belief only in Jesus. Only Jesus saves. Who says speak ministry is boring? You get free entertainment. Listen, the only way I am going to heaven is by Jesus Christ. And only by Jesus Christ. And you will not get to heaven without him. You will not go into New Jerusalem without Jesus Christ to defy what I have done to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You cannot and will not. When the Bible has set forth the standard that only Jesus saves, God Almighty has done all for man through his 100% God body and through his 100% man body the man Christ Jesus and you're not going to do anything to improve what God has done 
And when you say you are good enough, you are saying the cross of Jesus is vile. And when you think that you can outsmart God, you are saying the empty tomb was vain and worthless. And when you can say, I am going to heaven by what I have done, you have called Jesus wicked and unwilling and unprepared. That the salvation of Jesus, if you are so good, is unfinishable. When he cried on that cross, it is finished. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Jesus is God manifested in the flesh. You are a sinner in the flesh. And sinners need to be redeemed by the blood. Sinners need God to redeem. Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sins of the world. God loves the feet of the preacher, Romans chapter 10. Read your Bible, study your Bible. Don't be a fool all your life. God's not willing that you should perish or all should perish. That's why God says, go out in the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. How can God hate a man preaching the gospel when Romans chapter said, how good are the feet of them that, that bring good tidings? Good tidings means good news. Good news means gospel. God hates you for rejecting the good news, the good tidings, the gospel. Repent and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That's salvation. That's the only way to get to heaven. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There is no hope in the Pope. Jesus saves. There is no hope in baptism. Baptism gets you wet, that's it. But the precious blood of the Lamb without spot is able to save your soul. God wants you to be saved. But God has given you a free choice of being rejected by rejecting His Son. God will never force you. Coming to Jesus must be by faith and of a willing heart. Jesus says, come on to me, all you that are heavy laden. You're heavy laden with sin. And your sin will drive you to hell. It's the escalator down to hell. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
He that has the Son hath everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see light, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. It's all what you do with Jesus. If you receive Jesus, God will receive you. If you reject Jesus, God will reject you. The love of God is Jesus. The rebellion of God is religion. The condemnation of God is, I'm a good person. Talk a little bit about our vendors here. We do have a lovely little lounge area over here. Of course, it's a little windy. We haven't got our tents up. Uh, we have a lounge here. Come take a load off. It's not the preacher you reject. It's the Jesus that the preacher is preaching about. And it is Go ahead and hate me. I don't care. But believe on Jesus who is preached. I can't do nothing for your soul. I can't do nothing for you. But Jesus is able to save your soul. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You will not stand in the presence of God without Jesus. And God love you and bless you, my friend. Amen. Thank you. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Them are the words of Jesus. I didn't say it. I just spoke from the Bible. And without Jesus, your life will be hell. And then you end up in the lake of fire. It gets worse. And there's no party in hell because there's a fire in hell. And I'm sorry, alcohol, tobacco, and all that burns up. But you will not burn up. You'll have no relief. You will not have opioids or whatever they call them drugs. You will not have drugs at all. You will have torments of tormenting forever in hell because you have rejected Jesus. I hate that hellfire preacher. Well, Jesus loved it. He preached hellfire. That's where the term came from. I love Jesus, but I hate hellfire preaching. Then you hate Jesus. Because he preached hellfire. And they hated him too. They hated Jesus so much they gave him the cross. And some of you would love to kill me. If there wasn't a constitution in this country, you would seal me up, shut me up. The devil will. It will sell out. The devil will You must believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's it. That's that simple. Works, you have to do something. Jesus already done it. Salvation is in Jesus. It's so simple. Even a child can do it. For God so loved the world. That's why I'm here. Lo listen. <laughs> I take the time out of my life to preach to you, Jesus, how to go to heaven. And they say, oh, I hate, I'm hateful. I'm trying to show you what God... For God so loved the world. I'm giving you a preacher to preach the truth. 
I'm commanded to preach the gospel. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. You can't shut me up about Jesus. I love Jesus. I'd love to lift up the name of Jesus. There's nothing better than Jesus. There's nothing purer than Jesus. It ain't Yahweh, it's Jesus. Press one for English. That's another private message. Delicious Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Your soul depends on it. What you do with Jesus. God will do with you. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that he shall also reap. Receive Jesus and God will receive you. Plain and simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Reject Jesus and God will reject you. It's the law of sowing and reaping. Delicious. Delicious. Wisconsin apples. And they also, I uh, know they did, but they still got some. Everybody come here, guys. Beautiful city, the great California, guys. Very sweet California, guys. Put it right there with a slice of cheese and just take